Good morning. Welcome to the heart of Longmont. My name is Trisha Graffelman. I'm the mission and ministry coordinator here. And I am so glad to see your faces. I've been um, out of the country last week. Um, we went to Ireland. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? He replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your mind. This is my prayer, that your love might become even more and more rich with knowledge and all kinds of insight. I pray this so that you will be able to decide what really matters, and so you will be sincere and blameless on the day of Christ. And I was asking myself, you know, what would it look like to be a church that expressed love? That it was a big tent, the way that the Wesleyan church was intended to be to begin with, the Wesleyan movement. A big tent that we can disagree, that we can have doubts, that we can come together and study and learn. And yet, as John Wesley said, we may think alike, but we can still love alike. Well, today's idea of a critical thinking faith comes from the Latin term eruditio et religio. And it means the intellect and religion, what John and Charles Wesley described as vital piety. And part of the challenge of this is that today we find ourselves, and it's not just today, it's been over the, uh, uh, it's been a movement. Many, many churches somehow say doubt is forbidden, questions are forbidden. Are, were any of you raised in a culture or a tradition that said, do not ask questions? That means you have a lack of faith. Some of you are like, I'm not raising my hand, but I was. <laughs> you, it, it, it was, if you had a question or doubt, it meant you somehow your faith was weak. And I am here to tell you, we all have doubts. If you don't have doubts, if your God answers every single question, I got, I'm here to tell you, your God is too small, too limited, my friends. This idea of a God who is a, a creator, redeemer, and a sustainer, that is too big for my little brain. I need others to ask questions, to have conversations with, to lead to a pathway to a deeper faith. This is why Methodists are, believe so heavily in education. That one of the gifts that education gives communities is an opportunity to wrestle with ideas. Our com one of the commitments we make as a church as we have our wider missions is that we support universities all over the world in hopes that all have access to education. Education matters. So go back into that world that's going to tell you that hate and fear and division are the way of the world. And remember that Jesus is inviting us to say that perfect love casts out all fear. Go back into the world where it's easier to meddle and be bitter and angry and resentful and carry with you the fruits of the Spirit. 
reminded that we are called to be people of love, of generosity, of faithfulness, of gentleness, of self-control, of peace. So go, show people what it can look like to be people of love. Go in peace and love. Amen.